think we're wrapping up this skills practice. Uh, the next option is to apply a levels adjustment to screen back text and then apply a color balance adjustment. I'm going to do the color balance first because I think it's easier and then I'll go through the steps necessary to screen back text which is kind of a cool effect to to make the text readable so that it's not too distracting you don't have to put too many bells and whistles on it but you'll still be able to, to combine your text and your image as one and so for the color balance you're going to need to find an image uh, that's supplied up here that needs a color balance adjustment and the only ones available are these three with the glasses and so just choose one each one of them has a different color cast we have a yellow like a bluish one and a reddish one I'll choose the reddish one I'll save it as less than 11 G and then I also want to save an image so I can screen back text and it works uh, best if you have similar colors, not they don't have to be exact colors, but if you try to put text over the windmill and the sky, there's too much of a difference between the two, it still wouldn't stand out too well. Like you could put the text at the bottom of the statue here, it's all kind of creamy beige colors. I'll grab this pretty field here and save that as a lesson 11H. Okay, let's jump back over to Photoshop. So I'll grab those two images, right click, open with, and Photoshop and then we will quickly fix this image so a color correction is a, a fix there's something wrong with it and you need to fix it color casts happen when you don't capture your images properly you don't set the white balance on your camera and you're in a room that has like incandescent or fluorescent light bulbs that make the image look like it has a color cast or there is light coming in from outside or there's like a red sign and there's red light coming off the sign that's applying a cast to your image. And so the way that we can fix this is we can apply an adjustment layer. So select your layer, create a new adjustment layer, and then I want you to do a color balance. On the properties panel, you need to recognize which color you have too much of. And so I think we have too much pink, which we don't have pink on our properties panel, but we do have magenta. And so if you take the slider and you move it slightly away from magenta towards green, you immediately see a clear difference, right? We had pink and now we have no pink. And what's important about this is you want subtle adjustments. If you go too far, you're adding another cast. So you got rid of your magenta cast, but now you're adding a green cast to your image. And so you just want to make a slight adjustment. Like right there is probably good. Maybe just a tiny bit more until you can get rid of that cast. And maybe you do this and you say, oh, I still think I have too much yellow. You can go a little bit towards the blue until you get rid of the color cast that should not be there in the image. The last skills practice is probably the most time consuming, but I think it's the most rewarding. Um, what you can do is if you wanted to put text over an image, sometimes it's hard to figure out what color you can use because the color behind the text is changing. It's all different shades and so you really can't choose a color that is contrasting to a, a one shade of green that will work for all the different shades. And so one way to get around this is to use a levels adjustment and to lower uh, the values within the text area so that you basically just have a copy of your image that is lighter than the rest and you can see the words. To do this, you need two assets before you start. You need a background image and you need text. So I'm going to grab my type tool, just click, and then type wherever you're at. This is actually in the countryside outside, I think it's outside Rotenburg, but it really doesn't matter. We'll call this Bavaria. And then uh, if you watched my lecture, that's the typeface that I was using for the, the demo in the the lecture, so I'll just use this typeface as well. It's way too big though. Well, I guess it doesn't have to be. Um, we can put it that size, it's fine. Now right now, it's not readable. I can't read it because the blue and the green are not contrasting enough for me to be able to distinguish what it says. But that doesn't matter because when you lower the, the contrast and you use a levels adjustment, the color goes away. So the steps that you want to do is you want to make a selection and then you're going to apply a levels adjustment to your original layer and because you have a selection active the adjustment will only apply to that area and because we want the words to be screened back we need to select the words and the easiest way that I know how to do that is to command click the little T Let me zoom in here I'm going to command click the little T 
and it will activate my text as a selection. If you're on a PC, you're going to control click the T. Then I really don't, I don't need the type layer anymore. So you can delete the type layer or just turn a little eyeball off. And now I'm going to apply a levels adjustment to the actual image layer. So choose a little adjustment layer icon, choose levels, and then it disappeared, right? Our selection disappeared, but if you look closely, a levels adjustment, this represents levels, has been applied, and it's only going to affect the white area of the layer, which is where I put the word Bavaria. And so now if I take my slider, really you just want to affect the midtones. If I take the midtone slider and I slide it to the left, I can lower the level of the color in just that area. And you can make adjustments. You can move the, the levels back and forth until you get the color that you want. You don't have to make it lower. You can actually move it to the right if you want to. Certain images, this will work. It doesn't work with this image, this particular image. But you can lower, whoops, you can lower the color in the image until you can read the word Bavaria. Now down here, it's a little bit too dark to read perfectly. And so you may want to choose a different part of the image or you may want to make the text smaller and put it over um, you want the image to kind of be similar. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, but I don't. I wouldn't want to put the text half in the sky and half on, on the field. I want to put it all in kind of similar text areas. Let's do that. Let's do step backwards until we get our text back. Let's do edit. No, I'm going to keep going back because I want to make the text smaller, I think. So we have the text now. Uh, it's at the 250, I'll make it 200. And then I'll put it somewhere like here. It should do a better job. You could even do it in the sky if you wanted to, but the sky's already really light, and so you would want to go darker if you did it in the sky. Let's do it in the sky. I'll make the text even smaller. Let's try 150. And we'll put the word Varia in the sky. The steps that we followed were to Command or Control to uh, click the little T. Turn that layer off, select your layer that you'd actually want to make the adjustment to, apply a levels adjustment, and then you can move the slider. And so because the sky is already really light, I have to move it to the right. And so if you look closely, it's going to look bad because I'm zooming in too far, but you can see it's the actual image behind it. You see all the texture of the sky and the clouds. It's just making it darker than the rest so that you can see it in contrast. We can try making it lighter. I guess you could if you wanted to. You go either way. Okay, so that wraps up my demo for the lesson uh, 11 skills practice. I would highly encourage you to participate in these, and so if you're watching these videos, then you don't have to worry about that. Um, but don't kind of slip off of them. Starting with lesson 9 on, the skills practices are really important because we're going to be doing actual hands on Photoshop stuff that will allow you to create some cool effects and designs and edit your photographs and, and things like that.